Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Okay, we will uh, begin our our lesson for today. Vertical projectile motion. This is a question three usually in the exam paper, but it may change depending on how they set the exam paper, right? So let's look at the question. A hot air balloon is ascending with a speed of five meters per second. Ascending, it's going up. A person in a basket releases a bag of flour at height H. The bag strikes the earth with a speed of 18 meters per second. So the hot air balloon is going up and the bag ends up going down. The bag strikes the earth with a speed of 18 meters per second. The first question is, how long does it take the bag of flour to reach maximum height? Now, what's important is again, as I said, the 3D principle, right? Which direction we're gonna take as positive? You can take up as positive, down as positive, the direction of motion as positive, you decide. The way I did it is I, I take down as positive because when down goes positive, then G is always, 9,8 meters per second squared. So down is positive. I took down as positive. I take G as 9,8 meters per second. And I look at the motion. The motion is, how will the motion be? If you're going up at five meters per second and the bag of flour falls out of the bag. At the beginning of its motion, how is the bag of flour going? The bag of flour was part of the balloon. So initially the bag of flour was in the balloon and they were both going up at five meters per second. So the moment it drops out of the balloon, it will initially go up at five meters per second. All right, so that's important. You take down as positive, uh, so down is positive. So initially it will go up at minus five meters per second. And then when it reaches its peak, it will stop and then it will go down and it will go down at and it will reach the bottom at 18 meters per second. Okay, just a question here. Could you see when I went on to page two, somebody just answer me. If I go to page two, can you see the answers? Anybody talk to me? Two again, William. Okay, so that, that's a diagram you must draw, right? So take down as positive, draw your diagram. In, uh, just for uh, just for uh, for interest sake, what will the velocity be here at the top? At the top, all right. It will be. Let me write it here now. It will be zero meters per second, isn't it? That's at the top of the of the motion. Okay. So now coming back, let's look at a question. How long does it take the flower to reach maximum height? So we have to go again. We're just looking at this part of the motion till maximum height. At the bottom, it starts off at five meters per second and it reaches zero meters per second. So I said, I'm always taking down as positive, but you could have taken up as positive, right? But then the negative sign will be affected, right? So what's the data for the sum now? Maximum height. What do we have? We've got initial velocity, and we've got final velocity at maximum height, which is zero meters per second. So initial velocity is zero meters per second. Uh, sorry, final velocity, because the ball is going up to the top. The final velocity is zero meters per second. And the initial velocity will be minus five meters per second because I took down as positive. What else do we know? We've got initial velocity, we've got final velocity. Then the other thing that we know is gravity, gravity which gravity will be 9,8 meters per second. So the equation that we'll have to use will be Vf is equals to Vi plus A delta T. And then your final velocity is zero. Your initial velocity is minus five plus, your acceleration is plus 9,8 because down is positive. And T will be what you want to find. And if you work it out, you'll get that T is equal to 0 0.49 seconds. Okay, so that's important. So you see when you're doing a, a sum relating to vertical projectile motion, you must see which part of the motion you are taking. Are you taking all the motion? Are you just taking up motion? Are you taking only down motion? So you have to be very careful as to 
the data that you use. The data that you use must be according to the motion that you are taking. Right, let's look at the next question. How long will the bag be in the air? All right, so how long? What does long represent? How long does it take you to come to school every day? So many minutes. So how long refers to time. So for teaser, question mark. Now the question is which part of the motion are you looking at? Because here's our motion. You're taking the motion from the time it leaves the bag to its maximum point and then till it reaches the ground. So you're taking the full motion. So what data do we know about a full motion? You must work out long, which is time. And we know gravity is? Our gravity is 9,8 meters per second downwards. All right, so our gravity is 9,8 meters per second downwards. Uh, did you check the answer for point one? Work it out with a calculator for me. If you take five, Madam, I got a different answer for three point one. Yes, which is zero comma. I got zero comma five one. Okay, seconds. let's fix up. Let's fix up. Zero comma five one seconds. All right. So that's good. So just make sure your calculator work is right. That will be silly errors to lose marks for nothing. Okay. So um, how long will it take the bag to be in the air? How long? We're taking the whole motion. So here's our whole motion. Let's look at our picture again. So the initial velocity is minus five meters per second. We won't take the zero in this case because we're taking the whole motion. Your final velocity will be nine, 18 meters per second. So v, VI will be minus five. And uh, um, your, so let's see here, your VI will be minus five. Let's see if we can type here for us, VI will be minus five, and then your VF, your VF will be uh, 18. And what else do we know? The obvious thing, G. G is always 9,8 meters per second downwards, right? Let's just go on there. Let's look at it. Let's just remove all the pictures now. Uh, annotation, remove all, clear. Okay, so if you look at it, this is our information. VI is, uh, you can take the whole motion. Sorry, what's the question? I'm getting messed up here. How long will the bag be in the A? Right, so then initial velocity will be, it will be 3.2, yes, 3.2. Initial A acceleration is 9, don't, don't worry about the sun for now, right? I may have got confused the way I was writing it. And I just take this away from now. Oops, that's bad. All right, so you just take this, uh, don't, don't worry about this part of the sum. Uh, the first part, uh, look at the second 3.2. So initial velocity will be, A is equal to 9,8 meters per second. V initial will be minus five meters per second and V final will be 18 meters per second. So again, VF is equal to VI plus A delta T. Your final velocity is 18. Your initial velocity will be minus five. 9,8 is your acceleration and you have to work out your time. Work with me check as you check the 3.1. So then your time will be 2,35 seconds. Is that correct? T, I got it. Good, so then 3.2 is correct, right. And then 3.2, find h the height. How long will the bag be in the air? Okay, okay. 3.3, find h the height from which the bag was released. So for the height from which the bag was released will be, you must find h the height from which the bag was released. So again, if it was released there, h, find h. So you must find height. Height, what's the symbol for height? The, the, from the equation, delta y, correct? So you must find delta y from which the bag was released. So you got delta y is, uh, is, uh, is, is uh, what you have to find. Your initial velocity will be minus five. Your final velocity will be, um, your final velocity will be 18. I don't have it here, right? 
So let's just, let's write our data here, 3.3. Uh, v initial is zero, V final is that, A is that, and you must find, you have to find what? Delta Y. All right, you have to find delta Y. Let's just write this there. Copy, put it here. Right, which equation will be relevant? What's the relevant equation? It will be, you have to find delta y, so there's no t in this equation. So which equation does not have a delta t? Vf squared is equal to vi squared plus 2a delta y. That's the right equation, right? And then your Vf is 18 squared, your initial velocity. What's the question again? From what height it was reached? So your initial velocity is not zero, you're taking minus five as your initial velocity to a 9,8, all right? So to work that out, what will, our, what will our answer be here? So you have to work out delta y from the time, the, the height at which the, the bag was dropped. So initial velocity is minus five, your final velocity is 18, two times 9,8. Work it out for me, can somebody give me an answer? Anybody is ready for me? I got 15,26 meters. 15,26, can somebody else uh, confirm that? 15,26. I got 15,26 also. Good, okay, so that sounds correct. So that means from here till the ground, from the time it was released till the time it reached the ground was 15,26 meters. So that's the height from which uh, H was released from the bag. The question, the, the answer that I had there was, what is the maximum height reached? Um, William, can you please explain why the initial velocity is minus five? Why the initial velocity is minus five. Okay, so if you take the bag, I'm just taking this away, right? I'm putting it here on the side. Let's put it here. Right, here's the hot air balloon going up. When the hot air balloon is going up, at this point of time, when it is, when the, air, when the flower is released, what is it, what we're taking it up as negative and down as positive, right? So the, 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 what is the velocity of the, the bag of flower? And then when it reaches the maximum height, it's zero, but we don't worry about that because it goes up and it comes back down and it goes and reaches the ground. So we want to know the height of the balloon, the time it was released. So the, the, the height of the, 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 the flower, bag of flower and the height of the balloon will be the same at this point where it is released. So that's why the information is V initial will be minus five, V final will be 18 and the acceleration will be 9,8 meters per second. I don't know if that makes sense. Uh, can you tell me? Is that okay? Talk to me. Gee, gee, yeah. It's, it's a bit tricky, but you have to get used to it, right? So that's why it will be 15. Gee, I understand now. Okay, all right, just I'll call up for that. 15,26 meters, right? So it's 15,26 meters from the time that the balloon the bag left the balloon. Now, the one that I had there, which I de deleted, another, another thing I could have asked here is, calculate the maximum height that the bag reached. Okay, say that was another question. That's not a question that's here, right? The question could have been, uh, the maximum height of the bag. That means, uh, what is the maximum height reached by the bag? So the bag, is, is here at the moment is at 15,8 and it means it, it came here and it went up and it came down. So that 
all motion from here till there is 15 comma 8. We remember, we must remember we're doing displacement, na? and displacement, the net, this, this piece going up will be subtracted from that going down. So it's basically from, from the, the same line, you could have taken five meters per second in, in line with the point of release till the ground. That is 15,6 meters, right? Now, the question is, what is the maximum height reached by the bag of flour? It's not here. What is the maximum height reached by the bag of flour? So the maximum height of the bag of flour, what was the, what was the maximum height? It's the point at the top, right? So initially it will be, the V initial will be zero, no? So your V initial will be zero. Work this out, by the way, put it in your book. V initial is zero meters per second. And then a V final will be 18 meters per second. So you've got VI, you've got VF, and you have to work out G. A G is given. Obviously, don't forget, G is always given. It's your acceleration due to gravity, which will be 9,8 meters per second squared, positive, because we're taking downward as positive. All right. So can we work that one out? What answer will we get there? Can somebody give me an answer? What is the maximum height reached by the bay? Right, what's the maximum height reached by the bag above the ground? Your V initial is zero, your V final is 18, your gravity is positive 9,8. So can you work that out for me? Again, you have to work out delta Y, right? Can somebody give me an answer? It should be more than 15,26, no? I've got 16,53 meters. 16,53, that sounds right. Can somebody else confirm it with me? Yeah, so you got the same Okay, so that makes sense, right? So basically, um, from here, I want to show it now. Let's just see. From here, till the ground, if that was the ground, then this would be 15,26 meters. Eh? 15. Difficult to write, but let me just try. 15, right? That will be the 15 meters. And from the maximum height to the ground would be, from maximum height to the ground will be 16,53 meters. That means the, 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 the red one. Eh? Okay, it's not going. So basically, 15,26 will be the purple one that we've got here, and 16,53 will be from maximum height to the ground. Okay, so. Let's go further. I'm gonna just take this thing out. Right, find age height from which the bag was released. We did that, right? Which one of the graphs below represents the acceleration time graph for the motion? Okay. Can we see that? Which one will be the acceleration time graph for the motion? What is our acceleration throughout this motion? 9,8 meters per second. So which one of the graphs below represents the acceleration time graph for the motion? It will be, we did it down as positive, so it will be positive 9,8. So the answer there will be D. Okay, so D is the answer. So if you look at all the answers that we've got. Okay, D is the answer that we've got there. Okay, did I do 3.3? Is this the right answer that we've got? 15,26? Yeah, I, I, I did it to two decimals, no? 26 is right. Okay, I did it twice. So anyway, now I've got it now. Check your answers there. And D, we took, it's D, the answer is D because 3.4, the graph would be D because we took down as positive. <laughs> Okay.